As polls in Hungary came to a close, Hungarians could be seen lining up at polling stations across the country, eager to vote in the federal election, while others in Budapest took to the streets to have their voices heard. This crowd showing support for the people of Ukraine, but they're also protesting against Prime Minister Viktor Orban, one of Europe's longest serving leaders, having ruled in Hungary for 12 years. Orban has also been highly criticized for his close relationship with Russian President Vladimir Putin. While casting his vote this morning, Orban portrayed the ballot as a choice between peace or war, accusing his opponents of trying to drag Hungary into the Ukrainian conflict. Orban saying, Because of the war, the issue of war and peace have also become part of the campaign. Our stance is clear. We are on the side of guaranteeing peace and security. We consider our opponents dangerous. We have asked everyone to vote for the political parties that can guarantee peace and security. <laughs> Opposition leader Peter Markey Zai cast his ballot in a small southeastern countryside town where he is mayor. When speaking today, he criticized what he called Orban's corrupt right-wing populist system, which he said neglects democratic rule. There is no democracy in Hungary. All the rules have been set so that Orban Viktor will keep its power forever and keep stealing public money forever. So we don't acknowledge this election to be free and fair at all. Election observers of the Office for Democratic Institutions and Human Rights said they are monitoring the election. In a report published before voting took place, the organization expressed concerns about parts of the election, such as campaign finances and worries about a potential abuse of postal votes. Essentially, our assessment is based on the facts as we observe them, what we see and, uh, and what we hear. So we don't have with any kind of frequency to uh, the six-party opposition bloc united for Hungary had come together in a sole effort to unseat Orban. Melissa Nakavali, City News.